All right. right. Yep. So we're at Keen Ramps today, guys. Dan has been lovely enough to uh, take us on a bit of a tour here today. Yeah, but, uh, the boss is a little busy for a second, so I'm gonna show you around it. Yeah, first. the sign is new, that, huh? Yeah, he just got that done. Sick, pretty sick. Here's our uh, one of our vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Keener Amps. This is the old one. This is just our steak body, but we have a big ass van. I think it's in the back. I can show you that later. Okay, but this cool. right here is our cream of the crop. Right, here. this right here gets <laughs> off. You can tell by the stuff on the deck. Okay, let's keep moving. <laughs> No, MTV, look at my crib. Yeah, that is actually my crib. So. <laughs> uh, you can pretend that you didn't just meet uh, him five seconds ago. Hey man, is, how's it uh, going? How's it going? Cameron, yeah, I'll introduce you. Cameron. This is me, I'm Cameron. Cameron. That's where he keeps all his bottled waters. Yeah, and my beer and my and some beverages. And Very nice. Food. Check this out, you'll get stuck on that. Dude, like pokey machine? So, if you get this, you get a free hat. If you get this, what? you get a kicker. If you get this, you get a quarter pipe. Oh my god. Let's see. Let's roll the dice, yeah. I, I've been trying to win forever, and I, I'm never going to win anything, but it's okay. Yeah. No, Sick. Right. So he had that remade to have all the little yeah. stuff in it. Yeah, absolutely. That's rad. Yeah, he's, he's, he's pretty cool guy. Very yeah. cool. We've got some yeah, merch. We've got fingerboard oh. set up. Check this oh, we this do? is dope. Wow. So look at this. This is actually to size, he was saying. So every inch is one foot. So this is the actual dimensions of all of our boxes, our ramps, quarter pipes. This is like literally what it is like. Oh my god. Whoa. Almost. One foot it. Yeah, you like that? First tea, crooked grain. We also just got these bags made. Yeah, I was looking at them before. They look sick. Dude, look, look, look at the Carpenter's interior. this bag and you can strap your skateboard to the bottom. Yeah, yeah, you strap your board to the bottom. Yeah. Uh, it's got a built-in koozie. Look at oh, that. Oh, yeah. Bobby Cooler. Yeah, right? Check this out. Here's, here's my favorite part of it, though. The inside. The colorway is very, like... Look, at, look how fancy oh, the inside is. Wind as well? Right? Oh my god. All you carpenters oh. out there, make sure you pick one up. Yeah, right? And then we got, this is my favorite thing that we have. The windbreaker. The windbreaker, and we got some shirts. Uh, got sweatshirts, got some long sleeves. Uh, got some, got some stuff. grip tape. Got these bags right There's here. A pencil case? I, whatever you want it to be, man. <laughs> so we got some high shoes. Hell yeah. We got a couple Thrasher oh, yeah. magazines You're here. Australian buddy right here. Yeah, shirts out to Jack in the cover there. Uh, and here, we got this is the, the meeting room. Booze table. Oh, that's for your back. Yeah. I thought that was like an ab workout machine. <laughs> Maybe it is. I don't know. Yeah, I think it's like to straighten out your back. Okay, though. cool. Uh, we got a cat that's turbo oh, with, with a stray turbo. cat. So now it is. This cat uh, was a stray cat. Now it's a friendly cat. Hello. Yeah, it's a shop cat. Hey, turbo. Skate photos all over the wall. Yeah. We got the Slurpee machine. That, uh, I haven't never had a Slurpee out of it, but they have made Slurpees at work. But I don't work in the shop anymore. I just do yeah. YouTube stuff, so I don't get the yeah. real perks. Yeah, when there's a staff meeting party thing. Yeah, a bunch of coffee and stuff. We've got like a little that. kitchenette here. How yeah. cool is this? Last time I was here, I was looking at this. Yeah, that thing's sick. That's chopping board, Keen Ram's yeah. chopping board. Yeah, I think he did Custom. have a CNC machine. Oh, he did. Yeah. Okay. Wow. All right, we're going to the workshop now, guys. All right, so we got... This feels like high school. It feels like a high school woodwork. It is. I'm about to bully it. Bully it. <laughs> uh, here's our panel saw. Uh, new one. I have not yet to get to use this one. I probably never will because I don't work with my hands anymore unless I press and record. Uh, Some plywood, which is yeah, always good. Yeah, three A's with the skate light. No, this is our birch. So when you get a mini ramp, you can either get birch on it like this, which if you're like on a warmer temperature area, like if you're in like Florida or like, you know, uh, California, obviously birch is a good surface birch. or if you've got an indoor place, birch. But okay. otherwise, you're going to want the, want the skate light, which will like last forever. That's yeah. right here. Um, yeah, this is the classic skate light, but on our mini ramp that you're going to get to see in a little bit, Hell we actually yeah. have a new skate light that's... Uh, just released it has like a special texture to it. To, Brand uh, new technology. Yeah, it's it's pretty it's pretty rad. Um, this is a CNC machine. This thing looks amazing. Yeah, so this thing is like what cuts all of our transitions and stuff. This is uh Dylan, he's who operates it. Hey dude. Uh, everyone 
somebody who works here is just really good at skating. Dylan's not oh, yeah. absolutely killed it. Uh, so this is pretty much like where he is most of the time, but yeah. you'll see he does everything here. So Sick. you see him other things. A lot of machinery. Some tools. Where we get our racks of two by fours, that's where they get cut. I have no idea what's in here, let's find out. The shed. It's a backyard shed, mate. This is gonna be my new house. Uh, this is the CNC <laughs> machine, I suppose. Oh, sick. Uh, yeah, two by fours. Here's the cut one. So this right here, this is every this is a mini ramp right here. Oh, this is a mini yeah, ramp. Yeah, I, I can look at it and I'm assuming this is what, like a, is this a three by eight, I'm guessing? Uh, but yeah, this is just the So we're in the way here. All the sheets here. Sorry. What do you got? That's an Anthony. No. No. Man. What, what is this? Is this a full mini ramp? Is this a three by eight or something? This is a three, three and a half by eight. I think three and a half by eight. We started labeling them down here. Oh wait, where do you label? Oh, I see. There you go. There. Yeah, so, it's so everything's pre-cut. You just have to chuck it together. Yeah, and so like when you look at like the plies and everything, like we have like like uh, dots where you would screw into. So there's no uh, guessing. Like you, everything's yeah. already laid out to where you literally just put the screws in and it just goes Simple. together. Yeah, it's really That's easy. That's sick. Because then it takes out hard, like all the hard thinking. You just yeah, have yeah, to yeah. Put no it thinking. It's literally like yeah. IKEA style. Like these. That's are, right. These are cut to be like seven, ten and a half. So that means that the uh, outside of it will make it a true eight all the way around. So yeah. all the math's already done. You don't have to do anything. You literally just slap them together. Okay. Like I worked here, so you know it's easy. To <laughs> Shouts out to Toyota. It is the baby shout out. Toyota, give us another one. This is where we store a lot of like the extra stuff, okay. a lot of the finished stuff. Here's some boxes. These boxes look sick, man. Dude, like so good. every kid's dream Christmas present, like yeah. one of these. We have them in four foot, boxes. six foot, eight foot, different sizes and shapes. Uh, we do a couple special ones. We have the brick box where it has like the fake brick on the that side. That looks sick. Yeah, yeah really uh, aesthetic. I tried to build one of these like when I had my old DIY spot, but uh -huh. it ended up being way taller and bigger. Really, it was still too big. It was skatable but it was gnarly. It was like tough. Because yeah. I seen I seen Corey make one of these and I was like, dude, that'd be perfect. But I just kind of, yeah. They're fun, man. They're, yeah, they're, they're a, a lot time. of fun. These are like, so you get these assembly kits too. They come in like in a smaller box. You can throw one of these together in like 15 minutes Damn. if you like know what you're doing. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're, I guess they're right here. They're putting together okay. uh, slap pads, I'm guessing. Yeah. Which is like our slappy curb setup thing. Hey. Got some uh, painted burps. So another thing that you can do is if you like live in a colder area or a place that gets a little bit more weather and you do end up getting the birch, uh, we do do surface layers of paint that is like a special paint for you know dealing with rain and yeah. basically the elements. It's gonna make it last a lot longer. Cold weather. Yeah, it's weather protection. But you should, if you have an outdoor ramp, you should still always cover it. Whether Even if you have the skate light. Regardless. Light. Yeah, always cover yeah. your stuff. Um, here are some racks that don't have really anything on them right now. Uh, here is a kicker ramp Wow, is built for one of Adrian's friends to jump over a bunch of stuff. That this looks like an FMX ramp, like a dirt Dude, bike it's ramp. it's a big one. This yeah. Really... It's, uh, you want to come up and check this out? Yeah. This is the stairway to heaven, is it? Yeah. Ugh. Ugh, it's too early for me to be climbing around. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't wanna... Wow, this so is this, the mini. If you look at it, it has this honeycomb shape on top. And that's, uh, it. yeah, it adds like a little bit more grip. So like when you skate on it, you're not like sliding around as crazy. Yeah. Uh, but it, it, dude, it's like the perfect amount of slipperiness. Okay. Like if you can power slide you can into still, something, you're not gonna uh, die. Yeah, sick. But I think the idea behind it is like when people have, if you ever skated a skate light ramp that's indoors and it gets that dust on it. Yeah. And it's like a slip and slide punch, like it's a nightmare. Well, yeah. the idea is I think these honeycombs kind of catch a lot of that dirt and okay. dust. And it'll be like a little bit easier to just like, you know, keep in pristine, you know, condition. Yeah. Uh, it has a good grip. It has kind of a cool sound when you ride on it. I think this is like technically like four, four foot five. Okay. And then the four extension, and I, yeah. And the, well, it's four five, so it's like a true four foot. It's he explained it in another video. It's a it's a prototype size, but anyways, yeah. uh, we got an extension over here. Pool got, coping. Yeah, wow. Six foot extension with actual pool coping. Check that out. Uh, we got barbed wire around the side. Yeah. When it gets too haywire, we'll, we'll keep you in line. And razor wire too. That's sick. That's, gnarly, yeah. That's the tough. Wire ramp. Yep. And no one's died on it yet. So. Yeah, not yet. We were thinking about maybe covering it up or something, but okay. also we don't care. Yeah, you die, you die, it adds the know? gnarly factor. Yeah, exactly. So he's doing coping right now. Okay, cool. Uh, this actually is my favorite thing to do. 
some people, when you get coping, what they'll do is they'll just drill a hole in the coping at like each side and then drill that into the ramp. But that adds like a lot of wiggle room. So what we actually do is we'll drill it in a way that we can lash it to wood and then screw the wood in for like adjustments later on. And it's yeah. just way more sturdy. And the way that our CNC cuts are side pieces it fits in super snug so when you get one of our ramps it's like you're not getting that wobble you're not getting on the it's, coping end it's all yeah it's all superior shaky. it's a vast superior product yeah 100 percent, absolutely because i mean Corey skates and he's yeah self this like, is this is by skaters for skaters 100%, yeah everyone here even his ugly face like he can like like fakey big smith board slider rail you know? i'm like look at him look at him dude <laughs> These are flat bars. So we actually just got in a shipment container, it's actually uh, over there, yeah. of 300 round bars. Wow. And it's a brand new, uh, so I, the, the one that you skated, the little round one I have, yeah. that's our prototype. I'll show you the finished product. Oh, okay, it's, sick. It's a better thickness, uh, yeah. the legs are in a better spot, and uh, in my opinion, the perfect flat bar. Here's one of our slappy pads. Yeah, these look sick. Yeah, so they're, this side slanted so you can kind of get up you can on it. And just slam into it. Yeah, right up on it. The other side square, one side round. The Remember the old element um, flat bars? So this is based off of that okay. fixed. So the yeah. element flat bars had the legs a little further in. Yeah. So when you get on the end, they would tip up. Yeah. So that's why this is wider, okay. right? And it's further to this end. So yeah. now when you get on at the end, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't up. tip. Yeah. Uh, and then it has these reinforcements right here. Because if you've ever had a flat bar, a lot of times these legs will start to bend. Really? And they'll start to wobble like uh, that. Okay. So this way, uh, if that won't happen, and then on the bottom, if your flat bar um, moves around, we have these rubber pads. pads. Yeah. Yep, so it doesn't slide as much. And then one of the cool things that I like about this thing uh, is he actually had holes put in on the sides, too. Okay. And the reason that he oh, did that can... is so you can go like this. Oh, what? Yeah. So now, when you like go to skate the flat bar, you don't have to freak out about but hitting the leg. Hitting the leg, you, you can, can literally jump just on. ride right past it, and you know, not have to swerve around to hit wow. the end of the rail when you're learning. That's engineering. Something right that there. he, you know, you think through because he skates and he's like, exactly. oh, I want to learn this trick, yeah. but I don't want to have to ride around the leg to get to 100%. it. Percent. Yeah. So these are, uh, in my opinion, kind of the perfect flat bar. And there's actually a uh, 2.0 version of these that uh, he's been talking about doing where. I can't give away any of the design, but it's a game changer. Like, oh uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, somewhere down the line, he's going to be doing some flat bars that I think next like, level. Everyone's going to get them. Like yeah. they're so sick. Sick man. This mural yeah. that he had painted. This sick mural here. I was looking at before. Yeah, and I think he plans to have different skateboard artists do different things. Oh wow. All the way down. Okay. So this is just the first one that he had done. Yeah, you got a drill up there, a truck. Hammer, flat bar, some the flat bar square, it makes me mad. Skulls. <laughs> Square really, flat really bar. better about that, but it's okay. Sick. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's all happening out here, guys, at Keen Ramps. Yeah, that's right. This is, this is where the, this the, is the spot. The I think that's pretty much everything. Yeah, this is one of the work trucks, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So this is the truck that we used to do all the installs with. Okay. Um, so you, we'd fit, you know, entire mini ramps. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. I mean, this is what we did Jack Black's ramp on. Sick. Uh, but we actually have a van now. Oh, okay. So the it's van like is a huge, tall van that we, yeah. it's like all done up inside and stuff like that. Um, so we still use both of them, both of them, but I think this still gets used for installs. But I know that we use the other van just as much. So yeah, sick. All kinds of stuff going on there. Wow. There's plans for both of them as well. Yeah. A couple of extra things. Got a lift gate right here. For yeah, that'd make stuff things stuff. easier for sure. Um, like I said, this is where I had to cap it. <laughs> I'll go and show you his office now. Sick. All right. So this is the office. This is it. Wow. Is this your personal collection of boards? Yeah, pretty just... much. They're yeah, like sick. ones that I acquired over the years. Yeah. Um, cool. Just from, some are from friends, some are like ones like friends did the artwork. Yeah. Or maybe like from different events. Okay. Um, like I went to Element Camp one year and built some stuff. So Hell yeah. I think I had a ton more. I did have a lot more, yeah. Like when this place was getting built out, there was yeah. actually like a smaller roll-up door in the back. And okay. then so we, we saw cut out the brick. So for like four days, there wasn't really a door. It was just boarded up wood. Oh, really? Yeah, and somebody broke in, unfortunately. Oh, that sucks. So I had like a stack of all my boards here. And, and they, um, they, they, they got them. They got like 20 of them. 20 okay. good ones. Pretty good ones. There's like a signed Tony Hawk, a signed Jack Rally. There's like oh, a Jamie Thomas. Oh my um, God. But... I mean, I guess the silver lining of that, that happening kind of made me, uh, like, dig deep on, on like, eBay and OfferUp. And, yeah, like, really I got, so. I got, like, back onto this, like, collector mode. Yeah. And so, like, 
like I got these uh, like signed Chris Cole and then this like Tory Day One one from like a, a local dude. He was just like, hey, I, I want to get some ramps. Like I'll trade. Oh, he swapped you. Yeah, so That's we mad. I traded him a couple ramps for like that that Chris Cole Plan B, this one. And then this Tony Hawk Boom Boom Hawk Jam. Sick. Oh, that's, that's super one. OG. Yeah. Boom yeah, so Boom Hawk Jam. It's like it's like a seven six or wow. something. It's so small. Skinny. And then yeah, we did. Oh, cycle zombies. Yeah, yeah, we did a little uh, event for them. It was like an agenda after party. So okay, they had, cool. Like a collab board. Yeah, those dudes are sick. Yeah, and then um, the Beer Savage dudes did a collab with them. Yeah, right. This dude Tyler Muma, he was actually like one of the contractors here. Okay. Uh, he did like a bunch of work in the back. Yeah, like, sick. We took out walls and like we did like all the the warehouse and like all yeah. that and like did the epoxy floor. So. Uh, I found that on eBay and I was like, oh, that's cool because, you know, he he, helped he, he put some time yeah, in this place. Sure. Then my other buddy, John, was like, oh, I saw your boards got stolen. Like, I want to give you this Dylan workshop. Yeah. Like, so, it's like a Keith Haring style graphic. Yeah. Uh, I think it is Keith Haring. Oh, it is. Yeah, oh, there you go. It is. Alien. There you go, guys. Yeah, I found wow. that, that Huff, signed yeah. Huff board. Wow. And then, uh... Another alien here, signed Dill. Jason Dill. Yeah, it's some good ones. Sick, man. I actually like that uh, graphic of that Jason Dill board. A Muska one. Yeah, I got the Muska. Oh, it was like, shoot. when I was a kid, that was a board to have, like, in primary school. Everyone was like, you gotta get that Muska board. And there was only one kid at my school that had one. Really? And everyone was, like, so jealous. Yeah, it's kind of cool that they're, like, shorties is, like, back. Yeah. And like, oh, yeah. And they, they keep doing drops. They're like, the yellow one's available. Yeah. yeah. It's like, just that point. Nostalgia. Yeah. <laughs> it's yeah, yeah, just like, different bottoms. Let's talk about this photo right here for a oh, second. Oh, yeah, yeah. So we did uh, a mini ramp for Jack Black. Put that in his backyard. And for, like, I don't know, the last two years or so, he was kind of into skating. And he would just yeah. do, like funny videos, get his speedo, <laughs> do like different antics. He That's crazy. Tony funny. Hawk and like Riley come over. I've seen that video actually. Yeah. yeah, that was sick. And so this was, this was some kind of charity. Like they photoshopped this photo with okay. Tony's board. And with Jack. They, they did like, I don't know, 200 of them or something. Okay, cool. And the, the proceeds benefited something. I don't remember what it was, but yeah. Um, yeah, one of the, the dudes that works here, uh, that was my Christmas gift from him. So wow. He, Picked one up and got that. And I then so uh, thoughtful. Yeah, got some good stuff over there. King Cutter Tools. No affiliation, but it's my last name. It is legit your last name. King. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. ask you, but well, I'll ask you later. Everything's keen all the oh, time. Oh, in Australia, it's like, oh yeah, I'm pretty keen for a feed or something, or yeah, keen to go skate. Keen as or yeah, exactly. She's yeah. keen. She yeah, wants yeah. Out here, people are like, what? Yeah, it's yeah. only started to catch on, yeah. So that's sick. My, uh, that's that a knife. knife I built. This is a knife. <laughs> Dude, that's not a knife. <laughs> this is a knife. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah, I built this from scratch. Oh, some, some cool, cool stuff here. <laughs> so that is sick. Oh yeah, that was cool. That ran in like two issues of Thrasher Go. Wow. Steve had like a, a big uh, like 14 page interview and he did like a collab series with us where he painted up like a box and a kicker yeah. and a quarter pipe and like I think I remember that actually sold those oh, yeah um, just we just did like a limited run so that was cool to, to see that in there yeah yeah new bowl love this place I think that's ring Glyphburg right? yeah 2016 yeah. if I ever make enough money in my life I want to have like a replica in my backyard oh man it'd be so sick have you skated that yeah, yeah it's fun yeah it's like an hour so we just drive up but last time I went Pulled up, like the sun was going down, stopped right here, uh -huh. grabbed my board, ran across, and there was a bunch of like junk. There was like chairs and like metal gates and stuff, oh, broken glass. I was like, I didn't bring a broom or anything. I came unprepared. That sucks. So I didn't get to skate it. And then this one's also an Ardo photo. That's his uh, his old backyard when he lived in LA. He actually, I've seen a video and he like drains it to skate yeah, it's it. it's a swimmer It's too. actually a proper pool you can swim. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know if like maybe the people that bought that house, uh, they, they might still have it. Yeah, they might just think it's a normal pool. Yeah, they might just have it filled up.